we recently introduced a new feature for the Oracle database, the uh, integration with Azure AD to be able to use Azure AD OAuth 2 tokens to access the database. For on-premises, uh, many of our customers use Active Directory as a source of users uh, to access the database, and we have a direct integration with that called Centrally Managed Users. And many of these customers extend Active Directory using the bridge, and they have Azure AD um, in Azure uh, portal to be able to manage um, cloud resources. So OCI databases, our Oracle Cloud database, also need uh, to connect to Azure AD, just like the on-premises database connects with Active Directory. Now, this also happens to work with any Oracle database, but in general we find customers uh, prefer to use uh, cloud databases with cloud identity providers and on-premise databases with Active Directory. And if so, uh, this integration between Azure AD and the Oracle Cloud Database, Oracle Database can now accept an Azure AD OAuth 2 token for single sign-on access. Uh, this has the usual benefits with centralized user management, uh, with its more secure, low or DBA workload and the centralized account management. But there's some uh, unique things with this, right? With Azure AD, this is one of the more uh, popular identity uh, clouds uh, because of their uh, natural extension from uh, the use of Active Directory on-premises. And your applications, whether it's in Azure or other clouds or on-premises, can use these access tokens to access the Oracle database. Um, Azure Services can access the Oracle database using access tokens, their own uh, OAuth 2 uh, Azure AD access tokens. And then uh, a little bit different than what we've done in the past, uh, instead of using just groups for authorization, we're using Azure AD OAuth 2 extension called app roles. And users and groups are assigned to app roles, and then app roles are then mapped to DB schemas and roles. And the neat thing with doing that is that there are part, those app roles are part of the token. So we don't have to make any extra calls and access to the database is actually pretty fast. So the benefits, centralized user management, obviously it's better security. Right? You can uh, terminate uh, user access centrally, minimize those uh, rogue user accounts. They're centralized in that lockout and other account policies, so you don't, they're not trying separate password attacks on every database. You're managing the credentials in one place instead of in every database. Uh, you've got great separation of duties between DBA and user management. Now, this isn't just a benefit for security and DBAs. This also helps uh, users. They have a single credential, their Azure AD identity, to uh, connect with the database uh, in OCI in another cloud. Applications can also uh, be configured to connect with the OCI database. Um, no more having to remember different credentials for different databases. Now, Azure AD services, applications that use Azure OAuth 2 tokens, they can use that to connect with the database. Uh, this is not possible through federation. And if you're familiar with Azure AD, uh, the various flows it supports, uh, we support the Auth Z flow for interactive users and that can leverage the multi-factor authentication. The ROPC, the resource owner password credential flow, and client credential flow for applications. And then the on behalf of, this is a very interesting one, that the OBO is not, uh, is an extension of the Azure AD uh, OAuth 2 uh, standards and allows a user who is logged into the application to use the uh, OAuth 2 token to access the application. So that's that access token is for the application. The application can then request an on behalf of or an OBO token for the user and use that to uh, sign into the database. So the, the application access the database as a user, not as the application. And that can be very powerful. Uh, applications obviously have to be um, uh, leveraged to be able to do this. But this is a very interesting uh, use case for this. Now, 
the uh, Azure AD integration makes administrating database users easier. Right? No more uh, uh, password resets or having to create uh, new users every time somebody joins the organization, granting them revoking privileges when they move within an organization, and finding and dropping users, You're minimizing these zombie accounts when a user leaves an organization. So you can manage the, the joiners, move, movers, and leavers within Azure AD and not in every database. And then there's no need to configure federation since you can connect directly with Azure AD. Lots more information on this. You can look at the Oracle Database Security Blogs. The security guide itself, the 19C security guide, has a whole chapter on this. And there's also associated information in the, the autonomous database, uh, the various platform uh, documentation for the uh, any unique requirements to enable uh, integration with Azure AD in their environment.